This is Sam Kirk here with Alabama defensive lineman DJ Dale. Uh, DJ, how was your first day in Mobile? I mean, it was good. Um, the first day, I really didn't do much. Yeah. You know, it was a lot of testing, you know, weighing in and stuff like that. So um, the first day, it was pretty cool to, you know, see a lot of these guys and, you know, a lot of my teammates being here. So it was good to see some familiar faces. Yeah, it definitely seems like there's a lot of competitiveness between the defensive line group and the offensive linemen here. A lot of mm -hmm. great talent overall. Mm -hmm. You think that's bringing out the best in you and will do for like, the rest of the Oh, week? yeah, for sure. Um, that's why we're here. We're here to compete against the best. Um, it will definitely bring the best out of me. You know, you can't be lining up knowing that you're going to get the person across from you best, yeah. so you got to give your best. Yeah. No doubt. Um, obviously, staying at Alabama four years, you definitely see a lot of friends come and go. But, like, what did that do for you specifically to stay all four years at Alabama, be under that coaching staff, win a national title, and be a part of four different teams and, you know, have all those great leaders and you just learn from yourself, coaches, and everyone in that locker room? Yeah, being there four years did a lot for me, actually. I was able to learn from a lot of different people, a lot of different you know, leaders. Um, also, from an academic standpoint, I was able to earn two degrees yeah. in four years while I was there. But yeah, it's a lot of great people there, and I've built, you know, some lifelong relationships with everyone in the organization. Yeah, no, it's definitely amazing, especially the two part about two degrees. But um, now I'll just talk about your last season. You know, your pass rush seemed a lot more like involved in uh, your senior year. Thirteen mm -hmm. quarterback hurries. What do you think changed? You know, throughout your college experience and do you think you got after the quarterback more efficiently for a certain reason your senior year? Yeah, it was definitely a goal of mine coming into my senior year. Um, I wanted to be more disruptive and productive, you know, rushing the passer. Yeah, but it was it was definitely a goal of mine, and I feel like I did that, but it's definitely still more work that needs to be done. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, playing with so many different guys going up against the SEC offensive linemen. Um, is there any defensive lineman that you, has, you really tried to model your game after, you just always fell in love with while watching their film? Um, I can't really say a specific person. Um, yeah. I watch like a lot of guys, Deron Payne, Quentin Williams, um, Grady Jarrett, Clint, Kenny Clark, Cam Hayward. Um, just a lot of guys that I watch, and I really just try to, you know, take something from all of those guys, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm not them. I'm DJ Dell, so, you know, I always want to, you know, be myself. But with those guys, you know, been producing on that level for a long time. So I definitely, you know, try to look and see what works for them while also, you know, just trying to be myself. Yeah, that's a great answer. Um, last question I'll go. What is your, what's pre-game, post-game ritual? Anything, you got, a, you got a meal you like to eat, you got, a, you got a music you like to listen to before you head out there, anything specific? Um, I'm definitely a big wings guy. Okay. Um, I really, you know, try not to eat it, you know, throughout the week, but, um, Really throughout my career at Alabama, every Thursday, you know, me and Byron, you know, in the deepest salon, we'll go to uh, Bomber House to get wings. And that was kind of my ritual with that. And um, before the game, um, it's a, a mixture. Uh, lately, I've been listening to a lot of um, ESTG. He's um, a rapper, um, NBA young boy, little baby, um, Kodak, um, a lot of the early 2000s. Uh, Yo Gotti, Webby, Lil Boosie. Um, so all of that's going to be on the playlist. Yeah, last question. You briefly just hit it on it, but what does it mean to you to be with Alabama teammates here yet again, you know, just spending the week with your boys one last time almost, you know? I mean, it means a lot. You know, I played with these guys for four years. I feel like they deserve to be here at this game. They worked their tail off um, for the last four years, and you just never know, you know, with this whole NFL process going on. You know, we could all be across the all across the world, so you never know it's going to be your last time playing with someone. So I just want to enjoy it, you know? Thank you, DJ. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you.